The California wildfires continue to rage on on the minds of many, but what caused them to become so large and strong compared to their normal wildfire season? Well, this in part has to do with the Santa Ana winds. It starts when high pressure builds east of the Sierra Mountains. Air is pushed down the mountains and compressed and warmed, and the deserts dry it out even further. Then the air squeezes through the canyons and becomes stronger as it moves over the mountains, heading down into the Los Angeles coast line and these winds create very hot and dry conditions leading to high fire danger. But what made this even worse is the dry conditions that we're seeing in California. There's a drought monitor. Notice it is severe for the Los Angeles area. We also on top of that have wind gusts up to 50 to 70 miles per hour in that same area. Plus the relative humidity is super, super low. And it's not just the air that's dry, but also the vegetation, trees, brush, grass is super, super dry. And that's because the Los Angeles area really hasn't seen much rain the summer, fall, or even early winter. So what led to these California wildfires? Three reasons. The rain. We had the fourth wettest February in Los Angeles and the 13th wettest stretch from January to March. So that caused a lot of vegetation to grow, which is more fuel to the fire once it dries out. So it was a very dry summer through early winter. From May 6 up to this date, They've only seen 0.16 inches of rain in a normal season. They get about five inches. The third reason is the Santa Ana winds that I just showed you with hurricane force gusts up to 75 miles per hour at the highest. The good news is that the winds are expected to ease, so that should help the wildfire conditions. Reporting on the weather deck, I'm meteorologist Violet Skyber.